Greetings there everyone, this is TechBizmo, and welcome back once again to another video. Today I wanted to show you guys a quick tip in regards to the GNOME desktop environment. Now, have you ever noticed in the GNOME desktop environment where you try to change the appearance, change your theming um, in your Linux distribution, and you know you realize, hey, I mean, I, I can't really, there's not a whole lot of options. I mean, sure, there's some options here and there. You, know, you, can, uh, you can adjust the panel size. You can, you can change your theme from dark to light. Go away, please. Oh, my word. Um, which, I mean, yeah, switching from dark to light. Or, oh, my gosh. From dark to light is very nice. But, uh, you know, you want more options than that, especially if you're using Linux. Because you come to Linux partially so you can, you know, change the appearance. Um what I recommend is you install an application called GNOME Tweaks, or just Tweaks. I mean, if, if you're installing it, it might be GNOME Tweaks in the repositories, but either way, install Tweaks. It is a great program for the GNOME desktop environment that gives you many, many options, and they don't just have to do with your theming. For example, we have General. It can, you know, you can, in general, you can suspend when the laptop lid is closed, over amplification, but, uh, more seriously, though, we have general appearance, fonts, keyboard and mouse startup applications, which is actually pretty cool. Uh, you know, you choose your startup applications in this program. Top bar, window title bars, and windows. Now the star of the show, guys, is the appearance tab. That is why you came, right? Well, in this application, you can clearly see we have a whole bunch of options. We have in the theme, in the appearance settings, we have themes, and under themes, we have applications, cursor, icons, shell, and sound. And of course, you can modify your background as well as your lock screen wallpaper, all of that. So in applications, obviously, that'll change your title bar and stuff, that, that sort of theming. So if I change that from pop, which is by default, to Adweta, you can see modifies that, which is very nice. I mean, I don't like the way it looks, but I mean, it's very nice that I can modify it now. <laughs> you can modify your cursor settings, uh, for example. You change that to Adweta, which I guess that's what another word for pop in pop OS, because that's what I'm currently using. Um, but bear with me, you can actually change your cursor theme in here. Your icon theming. Now, this one I actually planned for, because this is, in my opinion, the most substantial out of all the theming because you can modify your icon theming. So keep an eye on the dock. I can change it to Numic Circle. And you can see now we have a nice flat looking icon theme right there. You can change your sound settings as well if you want to. Um, yeah, guys, let's go ahead and change it back to what it was by default. But uh, yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. You can actually, if you see, Uh, yeah, at the top in this uh, application, GNOME Tweaks, you can actually add a maximize button in Pop OS. <laughs> or actually, many, many other Linux distributions don't include a maximize button by default. So there you have it, guys. Quick tip. Thank you all very much for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful and useful. Feel free to comment, like, and subscribe. Absolutely comment. Uh, let me know what you guys think. And uh, stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching, guys.